Hello, welcome back to the PA Now newsroom where I'm joined by our City Hall reporter Tyler Ma. Tyler, I know recreational marijuana legalization getting closer and closer in the summer. One organization in PA coming forward with an idea about where retailers should be located. Yes, the uh, Prince Albert and Area Teachers Association is, uh, want, they want a little bit of consultation on this and they're asking that uh, cannabis dispensaries be at least a thousand meters away from any schools here in the city. Okay, now I know PA will be able to have two of them ultimately, ideally. Um, a thousand meters, one kilometer away from the nearest school. Is that practical in a built-up city like this? The, the, the mayor says, you know, we still don't know. We know we've got to wait for the province to come forward with their regulation around, uh, you know, distances for these things. But it does seem uh, uh, applicable. You know, the mayor says, as you said, we're only going to get two. So he says they will be, you know, uh, tightly, tightly regulated. Okay, check out Tanama's story on that. Also coming out of City Hall this week, I guess real true grassroots democracy and engagement with the public. Tell us more about these special public meetings that come up this year. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so for the past few years uh, the city has put these meetings. There's four uh, neighborhood planning meetings that are scheduled uh, for March. Okay, there are four, but I know from looking at your article there have been more in the past. Are we therefore getting less opportunities or what's the deal there? The city says you should actually help. So, you know, in years past they had the eight individual ward meetings. Uh, but, but the uh, uh, planning director said that they heard the similar issues at a lot of these meetings. And so able to bring people together in fewer meetings, people should be able to hear the same answers to a lot of their questions. Okay, thanks Tyler. Read all about it at panow.com.